Creating good composition begins by understanding where the point of interest lies. Many beginning abstract artists make the mistake of painting a bunch of feathered strokes circling the canvas, either leading the viewer's eye to the direct center or so helter-skelter it lacks any true focal point whatsoever. Can this still be considered abstract art or is it really more expressive art with no clear direction? The three signs that a painting was done by an amateur. Number one, all color values are the same without depth or contrast. Number two, the work of art has no composition. Number three, the work of art has no definable point of interest. In other words, no focal point. Some basic values of color theory boils down to a few observations. Every single thing in the world is either lighter in contrast or darker in contrast. Lighter value next to darker value is how we see the world. Look around you and see the defining lines that separate everything you look at. Every object is defined by a lighter value against a darker value. To fully appreciate this concept, just look at a black and white photograph. Even though it's considered black and white, it is defined by grays that give it a tonal value and allows the eye to see dimensions beyond the flat, one-dimensional work of art. To fully understand this concept, try doing an abstract painting using nothing but black and white and mixing the two colors to create contrast between them. If you do a few paintings, you'll begin to see how tones can affect the whole relationship between the mind and the eye. It helps you see the world in tones with dimensional depth. Although this is not a lecture on color theory, I will share with you my personal observations and simple basics as it is an important step in understanding composition. When working in color, one must remember the three color rule. Whatever color you choose, it should appear in three different sections throughout your abstract painting to give it a sense of balance. It is best to work with a limited palette while expanding your palette using black and white. The abstract painting should have one color throughout the work of art as an anchor that pulls the painting together. The very basics of understanding composition is understanding the thirds rule. By dividing the canvas into three equal parts, the concept is to avoid putting the focal point directly in the center, but instead putting the focal point either to the left or to the right. Although the rule of thirds is a very accepted rule, is it the best rule? The master Leonardo da Vinci used the golden ratio as a unit of measure to create some of the most important art in history. Please watch the short video that I prepared for you explaining the golden ratio. Then I'm going to show you using the golden ratio how Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting, The Last Supper, has a new meaning. Just by using this, you're never going to look at this painting the same again. Stay tuned, watch the video. About 1200 AD, 
Leonardo Fibonacci discovered a number sequence that revealed a very interesting number pattern. The numbers began in the following sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and continued indefinitely. He obtained the sequence by adding the last two digits together. If you were to make a rectangle with the width and length of any two numbers of this sequence, it would form a perfect rectangle. This is known as the golden rectangle. A golden rectangle can be broken down into squares by following Fibonacci's number sequence, going down, following the number that preceded it. Then divide each with an arc. We soon begin to see Fibonacci's spiral taking shape. The spiral in itself is unimportant until we discover where we find it. Fibonacci's sequence was later to be discovered in nature as well as art. It is found in leaves and plants as well as mollusks. It is found in the structure of low pressure clouds. It is also found in famous paintings, architecture, and music. The importance is where we find it. For instance, let's look at the sunflower. The pattern of its florids are in perfect spirals of Fibonacci sequence of 55, 34, and 21. The fruitlets of the pineapple create Fibonacci spiral based on the sequence as does the pine cone. As the mighty current rolls through the ocean and brings the waves to the shore, the waves that bring in the tide curve into a spiral that can be mathematically diagrammed on a plot at the points 1 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. Buds on trees, petals on flowers, starfish, and especially the nautilus shell, is formed with this exact same blueprint. 100,000 light years across this vast universe, above our heads, the spirals of the galaxy contains the exact design as that of the tiny shell. So, what does 1.6 have to do with Leonardo da Vinci? As we discovered, if you begin with 0 and 1, each new number in the sequence is simply the sum of the two before it. The ratio of each successive pair of numbers in the sequence approximates phi, 1.618. As 8 divided by 5 is 1.60, 5 divided by 3 is 1.666. After the 40th number in the sequence, the ratio is accurate to 15 decimal places. This becomes known as phi or 1.6. Leonardo discovered that 1.6 was the code to perfect proportion on the human body. As tall as a person is, if you measure from their head to navel, perfect proportions from the navel to foot would be 1.6 times of that from their navel to head. Your hand creates a golden section in relation to your arm, as the ratio of your forearm to your hand is also 1.618. 
the divine proportion. The ratio of the average width of a human mouth to a human nose is 1.61. These are just a few examples of many. Dozens of scientific tests have been performed to substantiate the appeal of the divine proportion to the human eye and brain. Gustav Fechner's tests in the 19th century have shown that when subjects are presented with a wide range of rectangles, they invariably pick out as most pleasing ones whose sides are in the golden ratio. The perfect proportion on the Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci to fit the golden triangle. Leonardo's golden triangle design was applied to many of his paintings. Unlocking the ancient secret of good composition leads us to the extraordinary paintings of Leonardo da Vinci and the golden ratio. When you first look at the painting, your eyes are drawn to the center where Christ sits. If you look over to the right, the hands lead the eye to the center. Even though Christ is in the center of the composition, his head leans right, not saving the composition from breaking the center rule. You assume that Christ is the true artist's intention as being the main focal point, but is he really? I soon discovered something different using Leonardo's own golden ratio diagram. By laying the golden ratio overlay directly in the middle of the painting, it suddenly revealed its true focal point. Is the true intention of Leonardo to place focus on Mary Magdalene? Take a look at the painting and notice that Mary has white skin, while all others are darker in value. Time and restoration fades colors, but if you were to stand before the original painting right after it was painted, chances are your eye would have eventually rested on the white skin of Mary, actually making her the main focal point of the composition. Even if you stepped back to look at this masterpiece, the white would have caught your eye. Using Leonardo's own tool, the golden ratio overlay presents an interesting argument. As an artist, using the golden ratio, which I call the eye of the master, I began to see better proportions and better compositions. I took Leonardo da Vinci's golden triangle and turned it into a very useful artist tool. To use the Eye of the Master tool, simply turn it in any direction to find your point of interest using the smaller golden triangles. Plain air artists will find it invaluable for finding perfect composition in nature. Use the Eye of the Master as you paint to gauge your work in progress. Photographers or videographers can perfectly balance a shot ensuring great composition. If you'd be interested in purchasing the Eye of the Master, you may do so for $5 in the USA, $7 in Canada, and $10 anywhere else in the world, and that includes shipping and handling. Just see the link below this video. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe. I'm Sky Taylor. Good evening.